croissants in the basket and fold over the napkin corners. This will help to keep them warm during your meal. Made exclusively for Harrods. Washing instructions. The bread warmer should be hand washed in warm soapy water and a vegetable brush can be used to remove any stubborn crumbs. Made in Great Britain. Nice. It's a bread warmer and like it's just because it is real butter it's just thin. It's kind of marking everything like a bit brown and that's okay. Oh I love that. I love that. Christmas present for hubby and I completely forgot to give it to him <laughs> because it still needed to be opened and I wanted to open it online. But how cool is that? Oh, I love Harrods. Well, I don't particularly like the things in Harrods because it's the same things you can get anywhere except overpriced, except for a few of their specialities. But it's the bags I love and, the, and these kind of things, but... Has it got Harrods written? Oh yeah, it has got Harrods written on it like they do. Little pottery things. But I just love the bags. Simple, simple. But I love the colour. It's the colour. And I think I got my husband an apron. A Harrods apron one year. For Christmas. It's just nice. I mean, it's terribly pretentious. But I do love the colour. And the gold and the building. Yes, I love the building. section. I went into the bread section. What did I buy? Like, um, like a, a bread roll or a croissant or something. Like a chocolate croissant or a, a raisin. What do you call those scrolls with the icing? What about Chelsea Burner? I think I might have used the Chelsea Burner or croissant. I can't remember. And I just had to wander around with whoever I was with. Because it's just like, um, one of those silly little things, isn't it? You may as well if you're there. It's like, I've only ever seen Buckingham Palace once, because we took um, our youngest boy there um, when he was little, and um, see, I've got it all over my shirt, because it's the thing to do, isn't it? <laughs> but we'd never seen it ourselves, and we'd lived in the UK for young yonks. It's funny, isn't it? 